While we were on vacation, we stopped at the first motel in Brunswick, Georgia. From the internet reviews, we figured that it would be a nice place to spend the night. We were in for an awakening. As soon as we stepped into our room, 224, the first thing I noticed was all the blood splatter all across the curtains. I showed Gloria and Sandy the blood. I looked all over, and the bed was more blood splatter. The carpeting had blood on it in spots as well. The bathroom walls were partially covered in thick paint, but looking closer, we could see the blood coming through. Big, ugly streaks of blood. There were also streaks of angry-looking blood on the wall next to the entrance of the bathroom. The bathroom itself reeked of a very foul odor, which reminded me of sulfur water, but it's only stronger. Our first instinct was to leave that room, but it was late and there wasn't another vacancy close by, so we stayed the night. The pool area was nice at once. Then, as Gloria and I stayed, we began noticing things that just didn't seem to be right. Again, the foul smell was so strong, the smell seemed like death, a horrible stench. When we returned back to the room, I took a quick shower and I could feel myself being watched. There was no one in the room and the odor that poured through was sickening. I started feeling horrible, wanting to vomit. It was unlike anything I'd ever smelt before. That night I was getting ready for bed. I noticed where someone had had sex in my bed and the sheets hadn't been changed. A few bugs were on the sheets as well. Not bed bugs, but some kind of fabric bugs. The staff refused to clean it, but gave us some sheets to change it ourselves. None of us slept much that night. When I finally did fall asleep sitting up, I felt a hand on my leg, caressing it. I was instantly startled. Gloria and Sandy were in the next bed fast asleep. Whose hand had been touching me? Early the next morning, we did a quick investigation before we left. Here is our exclusive WSP investigation. In this picture, you can see the blood splatter all over the curtains. In this picture, if you look at the left-hand side, you're going to see a man standing there, like on the outside of the pool area. And if you look down on the bottom, you will see a man is starting to walk past. Um, right there where the drain or something is there, you can see a man. That, his face is looking towards the right. And... I don't know who he is. Another picture of all the blood splatter which covered up most of the curtain in there. In this picture towards the left hand side you're going to see a dark figure standing there and towards the right there is another dark figure. In this picture right in the center you're going to see a male spirit as he's right there at the doorway and it looks like he's trying to come in. In this picture you can see two spirits that are right behind where Sandy is sitting and one looks like it may be a male and one looks like it may be a female. In this picture you can see some blood droplets that is on the bed. On the left side of the picture you're going to see what appears to be a man's head and shoulders right there at the bed. Right in between the two beds you will see a female's face as she's looking downwards. And the lamps are off and everything else. And you can see her just as plain as anything. Right there in the front of the doorway on the bottom. It looks like a female that has just laid down right in front of the door. In this picture on the left hand side you're going to see a spirit's form. I can see their head, their shoulders, their body. And then right in front of them there are two different places where there's blood splatters. In this picture right there on the back wall you'll see a female spirit. In this picture you will see what looks to be a female and a male in this picture right behind where the pool area is.
After doing a review of the evidence files, we now know that the hotel was haunted. The spirits weren't there to hurt us. They seemed to be warning us of events that had happened there and warning us to leave this place before it happened again. They both seemed to be trapped on this property. Perhaps they just wanted somebody to listen to them. I was happy we were able to let their voices be heard.